Hi, Lauren Welch here, and today I want to go through how to use Showcase as a presentation tool. And this is a follow-up to the video I posted earlier showing you the end results, and now let's go backwards and talk about how to do that. And there's some very basic steps. Basically, we're going to create a 4 by 3 surface, or whatever your preferred image resolution or ratio is. We'll take that surface and put it in a showcase, and then we'll actually add an image as part of the surface material. So here you'll see I am inside of Autodesk Inventor and I just have a simple 4x3 surface, now the, or sketch. Now the beauty is this could be inches, millimeters, doesn't matter. And I'm going to take this and just use that sketch to create a simple planar surface and then inside of Showcase I'll simply import that surface into my presentation or into my model environment. So here inside of my environment I'll take this simple surface and once it's inside a showcase, I can place it wherever I want to create my, um, my slide or my snapshot, if you will. So you see with the letter H, I can bring up handles and move my surface. I can also, of course, rotate the entire environment and get the exact orientation that I want. Now from here, it's a matter of applying materials and images to this slide surface, if you will. So using M, I can bring up the material browser. And I'll just put in a, a simple white plastic and this white plastic will just be the basis for our slide or our image file um, inside of Showcase. So once we apply that, that matte white material, I can simply right click and go to my material properties. And instead of using just a color, I can actually use an image file as the basis for this material. So I'll simply hit the browse button and browse to a nice image I have. Now this particular image is 1600 by 1200, um, again that 4 by 3 ratio that I had used earlier. I can choose different mapping types that I want and have it auto fit to that surface and I'll show you some of the different results. Now what's nice is I'm using this for the initial color. Now I'm going to go down and using that same triplanar mapping I'll also use that image file as the highlight for the material as well. So again using that image, same image file for the material color and for the material highlight. Now I can actually link these two together, the, the color and the highlight um, with one of the options inside of here. Now I could also add a bump and a variety of other things. If you don't like the way that maps out, one of the most straightforward ways you can actually do it um, inside of that uh, material properties with a right click on the surface is actually to go in and type in the exact you know ratio. So if I say this is um, say a planar, um, I can actually go through and under the scale button I can type in again 1024 by 768, in this case 10.24 inches by 7.68 inches. And of course that's going to scale to fit that surface exactly. And because the color and the highlight are linked, um, they show up together. The next step would be creating the snapshots or creating the individual um, slide transitions. So I'll simply use the T shortcut inside of Showcase to bring up my shot properties. And I'll just do a nice animate to shot. So no matter when I hit this shot, it'll animate to it. Now let's create up a slide or snapshot number two. I'll select that surface and use the letter D for duplicate and then I'll bring up the uh, H for handles and I'll simply move this duplicate surface out in space and again I'm just to show you a simple example I can move this out maybe I'll rotate it uh, a different orientation and I could also be scaling this larger or smaller depending on how far in I want to zoom in or out so I'll simply uh, move this slide up rotate my scene orientation to where I want that next snapshot to go or my next slide in my presentation um, in generic terms so we'll get this oriented and positioned the way I want. Now obviously here, once we get it positioned, we're going to want a different image file on this particular slide. Um, I can go through and I can get pretty um, particular about my orientation. Now the nice thing is, because I have my orientation already set, I can actually go ahead and set my snapshot for this next slide right now. So I'm going to go ahead and again I'm going to animate to this shot and that would be my slide transition, um, again in generic presentation terms. So now I'm going to go from slide one to slide two but I'm going to go ahead and make this, um, this snapshot or this slide obviously a different image. So I'll go back into the material properties and I'll browse to a different image file. Now this resolution on this image file um, again is that 4 by 3 ratio so it gives me that nice ability. I just change the color and the highlight image and you'll see there I have a nice new slide. So based on this new slide and I've already set it as a snapshot let's go ahead and set one last snapshot maybe to get right into the product uh, presentation or design review of this particular engine, if you will. So again, I'm just rotating in my environment with Alt in my left mouse button and you know, Alt in my right mouse button to zoom in and out, um, all, the, all the fun showcase uh, shortcut keys we, we all know and love. 
And I'm going to create one last snapshot, but this one I'm going to make uh, more of a cinematic snapshot. And what I mean by that is I'm going to set up, you know, rotate to this particular um, start and then have it automatically do like a nice zoom transition for me. So you'll see I, I have a start and an end kind of snapshot. And I'm going to reset what the end is after I zoom in. And I can set the duration for how long it takes to animate to the start. And then, of course, that nice cinematic view. So if you look at my snapshots, I'll simply click on them on the bottom um, film strip, if you will. So there's my first slide. Nice animation over to my second slide while I'm doing my design presentation. And then lastly, let's highlight the actual product. So it goes to viewing the product, and then we have a nice cinematic zoom in um, to that final orientation that I preset. So there it is. There's how to, to simply do it. If you want to make it a little bit uh, more fancy or more showy, you can right click on any of these snapshots and you can assign a, a shortcut key. Um, I like to do this, and I'm just going to assign simple numbers like 7, 8, and 9 look to be available. And the reason I do this is now I can do my presentation, as you saw before, without having that film strip on the bottom of my screen. So it's a really nice, clean interface. And in fact, if you hit the space bar while inside of Showcase, it removes all of the frame and all of the toolbars altogether. So now I can rely purely on my shortcut key. So I'll go ahead and hit number seven to take me back to my first slide. Close off that shots film strip. Now I'll hit number eight on my keyboard. Transition over to slide number two. I'll hit number nine on my keyboard, and now we'll transition to that last kind of product design review and do that nice cinematic end. So there you have it. There's how to use Showcase as a presentation tool and hopefully a PowerPoint replacement. Again, I hope you enjoyed it.